Hi, I'm Steve with Foiling Magazine, and I'm here with Nathan Van Vieren of uh, Fly Surfer, huh? Can yeah. you tell me? So Nathan is a legendary waterman, South African, and uh, one of the, the, the founders and uh, rippers with uh, signature foils and boards. So, uh, but Signature used to make wings. So, so yeah. what's going on with Fly Surfer here? Can you tell me how this happened? Yeah, so we actually started making wings right at the beginning, brought out a couple, really enjoyed it just to get into the market, but eventually realized that there's so much to making wings and we actually decided to team up with a brand that already knew what they were doing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just a little bit easier, great to ride some, some real gear. So we, we're now riding with Fly Surfer, which is incredible. Joined with them, incredibly good wings. They've been around for a while, so had some, some time in the market. So super stoked to be partnered with Fly Surfer now. So, so uh, just a little history, uh, Fly Surfer might be a new name to wingers, but mm. uh, tell me about Fly Surfer a bit. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not exactly a new brand. Yeah, so Fly Surfer has been around for quite a while, uh, mostly with the kiting side, the, the uh, foil kites, especially the race foiling, they've really been established in that market. Uh, so now they've had all that time and experience with the inflatable and the foil kites. So putting all that R&D back into the wing has really created an amazing product. And so is there, is there just one line of wings that kind of covers all of your wing, wind ranges or are there different uh, ranges? Yeah, so currently there's just one range, which is the Mojo. Uh, we do have some exciting plans for a new one coming soon, so stay tuned. Uh, but for right now, we do have the Mojo, which goes from 2.8 all the way up to a 7 meter kite. So very big wind range and they're incredible in pretty much all conditions. And now I was talking to you yesterday and, and uh, I live in Florida where the, where, the, where the wind is light and I'm a, a big boy. And so you yeah. were saying, what, what were you comparing the 7 to? <laughs> so tell me. So we were busy comparing the way that the Mojo is designed. A very stiff canopy. It doesn't bend underneath a lot of stress. So a, a, six, a six two would pretty much be equivalent to a seven meter kite. Just the way it's been designed, the strength right. and the way it picks up wind, it's efficiency. So really a lot of time and effort's been put into this uh, with the R&D. And uh, is there a specific focus like, uh, you know, ease of use, uh, low end, uh, or does it, does it morph through the wind range as, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, any yeah. comments on that? Yeah, so with all the sizes, I mean, as I said, it goes all the way from a small 2, 2.8 meter, all up to 7. So the low end on pretty much all the wings is probably one of the best I've ever used. Uh, just the quick up and get go, uh, especially with foiling, to get like unstuck off the water, really has a good uh, grunt kind of feel off the line. So a lot of power. And then once you're going, it's really efficient in the wind zone, doesn't have a lot of pressure on your arms, which is a really big deal when you're winging, especially for a longer amount of time. Forearms start to die, but this one you can really feel a bit of a lighter feel. And so you're talking yeah. about your forearms. Can you tell me about these <laughs> handles? Because these are a little unique in the market here. Yeah, so instead of the, the solid bar handles, we've gone for, as you can see, these softer handles, which have a bit of a flex in them. So when a wind does hit you, a gust, it's not a, a very direct pull onto your forearms. Uh, there's a little bit of give, which really helps for the longer sessions or just going. And they've got a nice feel, really fit into your fingers. Got a nice soft feel, which is amazing. Awesome. And uh, so what's your go-to wing? And then what's your dad's go-to wing? <laughs> yeah, so the wing that I generally use from I'd say about 15 to 25 knots is the 3.5 meter mojo. Wow, that's crazy, yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. So generally it would be maybe a four or five or even a five. Yeah. But for my weight specifically, I can actually get away with riding a three five. And what, what do you weigh? I weigh 70 kilograms, which is, I don't know, 148 pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't know much about that, but that's what I ride. My dad weighs 80, around 80 kilograms, 78 and he rides a 4.5 meter. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so, so a lot of power. A lot of power, good low end, and especially if you're going quick, if you do get to the top speeds, it doesn't have much drag, which is incredible. Uh, so awesome. yeah, good, good mix. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for the, thanks for the update awesome. on Fly Surfer, yeah. Yeah.